This is my essential oil diffuser. And the essential oil I'm using today is, um, what is it? Frankincense. I was introduced to essential oils some years ago during my nursing practice. I had a patient from, uh, I think the patient was from Haiti. And his wife would bring this lavender oil every day and she would just massage his body with it and no matter how anxious this gentleman was as soon as his wife came and massaged him and she would dab a little bit on his pillow he would just totally relax it was like magic and i started doing a little bit of research on essential oil their history and their benefits and essential oils are very beneficial to health. Um, they, I'm not an expert in, in, in the different types of essential oils. I haven't that, done that much of an extensive study, but I do know that they are very, very uh, good for us. I personally um, like um, clove essential oil. Um, if I have a cold, I'll put it in my diffuser all day and it just helps to clear up my the congestion uh, the clove oil has uh, antibacterial and uh, anti-infected properties which you will get when you inhale it and also when you rub it onto your body um, now remember the skin is the largest organ of the body so whatever you rub onto the skin goes right into your bloodstream Okay, so I like the clove oil. I also use the clove oil along with turmeric and um, sea salt and coconut oil to make my own toothpaste. And it's very healthy. Um, I was introduced to the frankincense because I was told that it's, very, it's a healing oil. If you remember, um, frankincense and myrrh is talked about in the Bible and uh, was used often to uh, anoint people when they were sick. And um, it just smells so very good also. I like when, at the end of the day, uh, when I'm relaxing, to put the oils in my diffuser, dim the light, and just, just really relax with a, a nice hot cup of herbal tea, which is exactly what I'm gonna be doing just now. I boiled some fennel, caraway, and ginger, and I'm going to add a little honey. I'm going to sit in my living room and, uh, and just relax with, um, with the essential oil burning in the background, the light dimmed. So relaxing, so healing for the mind, the body, and the spirit. Um, it's commonly used in Asia. And it's becoming very popular here in uh, in the United States. When I was in uh, Jamaica last year, I had a little bit of a cold, and uh, I was told to get the peppermint essential oil, drop it in a little bit of water, one drop, a small drop in a little bit of water, and drink it, and it would break up the mucus from my chest. And I did try it, and yes, it works, but it's very potent. These essential oils are very potent, so one has to be very careful, do your research and know how to use them. But the, that really, really helped um, the cold. So I have a few that I have been buying and collecting, and I use it whichever one I, I feel like using. I have citrus. Um, but during my nursing practice, we had uh, people who specialized in essential oils and massage come and talk to us about these oils. And we would use um, essential oils like ginger essential oils, peppermint essential oils. We would dab a little bit on a cotton ball, put it in a medicine cup and just sit it in the patient's room. And uh, like the peppermint and the ginger oils would help those patients that were suffering from nausea post-operatively. And we would dab a little lavender oil if the patient had trouble sleeping. So we had different oils and we would use them. Um, we were strongly encouraged to use them in our nursing practice to help our patients with their healing.
So uh, check out essential oils. Um, very healing, very relaxing, and has been used for thousands and thousands of years. Uh, folks uh, would put essential oils in their bathtub and soak, and uh, it would heal their bodies. And it heals the mind and the spirit too. Trust me. It's amazing. Ah, uh, I just love the smell of this frankincense. And I'm so ready right now to go relax and just have my cup of tea and just chill. Take care. God bless you.